Just recently, Coinbase announced the launch of BASE, their own layer 2 network with the stated goal of bringing all 100 million plus of their customers on chain. Even though there was a little bit of hype around the announcement, in my opinion, there was not nearly enough. The creation of BASE is not only a huge step forward for Coinbase as a company, it's a huge step forward for Ethereum itself. And most importantly, this announcement gives us valuable information that we can use to predict the future of the entire cryptocurrency landscape. BASE is the second major network launching on top of the OP stack after Optimism mainnet itself. Together, Optimism and BASE form the start of a super chain, which is likely to revolutionize the cryptocurrency ecosystem. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's back it up and start from the beginning. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about BASE. What it is, when it's launching, how it relates to optimism and the OP stack, and why the concept of a super chain is actually important. Let's get into it. In order to understand what BASE is, it's important to understand why Coinbase is actually launching BASE in the first place. Luckily, Brian Armstrong, the founder of Coinbase, published a secret master plan seven years ago that gives us the perfect explanation. The master plan outlines four separate stages of growth in the world of crypto, each with an order of magnitude more users. The master plan also maps each of these stages to a stage of growth for the internet. The first stage was the actual development of protocols like Bitcoin and Ethereum. The second stage was the development of infrastructure to service these protocols. Coinbase contributed to the second stage with the development of its centralized exchange and its fiat on-ramps, aka letting people buy cryptocurrency with money in their bank accounts. The third stage for the internet was the browser, which allowed a new stage of early adopters to actually get online and start making use of the technology. In crypto's case, this is analogous to the user-controlled wallet, which allows people to interact with the blockchain. The most common example is MetaMask, but Coinbase has also built a wallet with tons of users. This third step is actually where we find ourselves right now. And coincidentally, it matches the reach numbers that were predicted seven years ago in the master plan. Coinbase has just over 100 million verified users. All these millions of people know what cryptocurrency is and might even own some, but very few have actually interacted with applications on the blockchain. One reason for this is that there aren't that many killer everyday applications on the blockchain that actually exist. We are at a point in crypto history, just like the point in internet history when the main uses were static web pages and email, but not for long. Base is Coinbase's attempt to move the world into that fourth and final stage, where we have apps on the blockchain that are just as useful to us as the apps that we have on the internet, like Facebook, Amazon, Uber, and YouTube. With Base, Coinbase wants to create a place where all of these useful applications can be built and to have their own custom chain that they can integrate with their existing suite of products for their 100 million users. But what exactly is Base? Base is a layer two network built on top of Ethereum. Like many other layer twos, Base will inherit the security properties of Ethereum but will have much lower fees for users. Base has said that they are not planning to launch their own coin and that transaction fees on their network will be paid in Ethereum. These fees will be anywhere from a few cents to tens of cents per transaction. But once Ethereum integrates EIP 4844, these fees will be lowered by another order of magnitude and we may start seeing fees below one cent. As of the time of recording this video, Base's mainnet is not yet launched. However, they do have their testnet up and running and open for building. In their announcement, Base dropped a picture with the logos of dozens of the biggest decentralized applications, which are likely to deploy on their network as soon as it launches. It makes sense that all of these existing applications would like to be on Base, because Coinbase is likely to bring in a huge number of users. One important thing to note is that Coinbase did not build base from scratch. They built it using the OP stack, a piece of open source technology built by Optimism. I made an entire video on the OP stack and why it's a huge technological step forward for layer twos, but basically it allows anyone to build their own layer two network using modular and open source components. These components can be switched out and upgraded relatively easily, making the networks built on them, like base, much more future-proof. This makes BASE the second major chain after Optimism Mainnet to be built using the OP stack, but it is unlikely to be the last. In their announcement, the Coinbase team committed to being the second group of core developers pushing the OP stack forward as an open source technology for anybody to use. 
So outside of base, what does this mean for the future of crypto and Web3? Well, first of all, this is extremely bullish for Ethereum. Coinbase has internally aligned as a company that Ethereum is the platform for smart contract and decentralized applications. And the fact that they are building an Ethereum-based L2 and funneling 100 million of their users into the Ethereum ecosystem will only reinforce Ethereum's dominance. But there is an even bigger winner, and that is Optimism and the OP stack. If you've seen my videos on Optimism, you know how highly I think of their retroactive public goods funding model. Coinbase has committed to sending a portion of the network fees collected by Base to this retroactive public goods funding. Once this economic flywheel gets spinning, the OP stack will only get better and better, which in my opinion makes it much more likely that the OP stack will be what's used as the primitives for the majority of chains in the future. One of the things that the Optimism and Coinbase teams have made clear in their announcement is that we are not there yet. We have yet to see the amazing potential of decentralized applications break into our everyday lives. But the good news is that with Base, it seems like Coinbase has decided on the path of collaboration and openness so that we can all get towards that future together. If you want to learn more about any of the topics mentioned in the video, check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.